Ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing, we've only talked about so many, um, so many times. We've talked about alternate interior, consecutive interior, right? Those are the only two that are in your interior. Then we talked about alternate exterior, right? Those are the only time you have angles that are both exterior. And then we talked about corresponding. Now, when we're looking at these, out of those tampas, when we had parallel lines, those are the main important angle relationships we came out of when we have parallel lines in the transversal. Out of all those, the only two that add up to give me 180 are consecutive interior. The, all the rest of these, Alexandra, equal what? No, consecutive interior equals 180. The rest of them all equal each other. Okay? So, we need to determine what type of angle relationships are these. And for our problems, we're going to have to write down that angle relationship. So we take a look at this, and remember, when we were talking about interior, exterior, interior was in between our parallel lines, and exterior was outside of our parallel lines. So we have interior, exterior, or a mix of both. What are these two angles fall? Interior, exterior, or a mix of both? They're exterior. They're outside of the parallel lines, right? Interior is what was inside the parallel lines is what we're represented as interior. So these fall outside. So the exterior, are they on the same side of the, of the transversal or on opposite sides? Opposite sides. So they're called alternate interior or exterior? Exterior. And we know that alternate exterior are what? Equal to 180? No, equal to each other. So therefore, we can write an equation that's set up like that. One angle is equal to the other angle. Now, to solve from here, um, that's 14x. Now, to solve from here, we notice we have an x on both sides. And if you guys remember at the beginning of the year, I told you we're going to be solving a lot of problems with the x on both sides. So therefore, what you guys are going to do from here is you're going to, um, you can do it a couple different ways, but you can subtract 12x. So therefore, we have negative 1 plus 2x equals 17. Add 1, add 1. 2x equals 18. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 9. So to find the value of x, we use alternate exterior angles, set them equal to each other, and then solve. OK? Right. Now, um, when you guys are doing your homework, uh,